Hello ladies and gentlemen, since I haven't done this in a while, I'm back in the blue flag server flying the A-10C Warthog. In order to make things a little bit more interesting, I'm also going to be commentating on this video, but uh, I'm going to try and shut up as much as possible. I just want to make sure that I can paint a clear picture of what's going on. In any case, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So over here, I've actually been having some trouble finding the O6 that it's been firing at me constantly. And one of the ways that I deal with this is to stow the targeting pod and then uh, put my nose right on the target and then wait for him to fire. And as soon as he fires, I just put the diamond right on the target, TGP up, and then this is exactly where he's at. Pretty easy. Roger, what's that finding? Nice caller, call time. Yeah, Andy, 10 off. Andy, 10 off, please make your heading 27. Pull up, pull up. Oh, Shit! Sorry. Magic Dagger 1 1, I got a mirage on my 6 o'clock requesting cap support immediately. Pull up, pull up. Everyone, one copy. Night General, X died. 27055 not Mirage is showing up my east. Pull up, pull up. Repeat for Tiger 1 1. Tiger 1 1, you say direct east? Hey, firm, he was up. east last known. And you turn our play pull up, first pull up. again at your 250. 250, Andy. Pull up, pull up. Unless that was up, him. Seriously doubt it. Yeah, I have one contact. Hobbs magic. Pull up, pull up. Go Hobbs. Hobbs, do you have any contacts over there? Pull up, pull up. Uh, negative. So here I take note that there's a uh, 29 nails on my 6 o'clock, and he's pretty far still, but I think that I have just enough time to turn in and shoot at this 06 site, and then basically bug out before things get a little bit too hairy for me. At least, that's the plan. Mirage nails faded, uh, re-attacking enemy farp now. So one of the issues with the targeting pod is that if you've been rotating as much as I have, uh, the targeting pod will at some point reach a gimbal limit. And once you've reached that gimbal limit, uh, you will have the issue that you will need to reset the targeting pod with China head aft. Uh, obviously, you'll lose your target doing so. So if you can mark point, which is what I did with uh, TMS right short, uh, the target right before you reset your targeting pod, you'll be able to slave the targeting pod back to the target. Oh, come on, no, don't do this to me. Buddy Spike, A10. Fuck. So, at this point, I'm resetting the targeting pod since I've reached that gimbal limit. And I went to press trying to head forward long, which slaves the targeting pod to the um, speed. Unfortunately, since I'm in flight plan and not in mark point, that wouldn't work. So I need to switch to mark point as you saw right there. And then the Charlie. last mark point that I set was Charlie, which is what I select currently. Slave back to Charlie. Yes. And confirm that's exactly my last mark point. And everything's good again, good again, good again. Unfortunately, what worries me now pull are pull the up. 229 nails on my 9 o'clock. Magic Dagger 1-1, one, one, two ship 29 inbound from uh, west. Danger close. Now, I could run, but at this point I'm very Pull much up. committed, and that 06 has been pissing me off, so I wanted revenge. I was going to shoot it down regardless of what's going to happen. 
Pull up. Pull up. There's nothing I can do. That 18 better fucking get his shit together. Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! There's nothing I can do here. Pull up! Pull Magic up. digger one one. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Pincered! Pull up! So, the current situation is that I have 229 nail 6 plus 129 nail 3. And things are getting very, pull up, pull very up. interesting. Uh, there's not much I can do, so I'm running for the coast down south towards friendly territory, and I jettison all my weapons to uh, up, try and help. Up. Any pull station this net, up. I am in immediate need of help. North of Tuapsir along the coast. I have a three ship twenty nine coming up my six o'clock. I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. What I didn't know at this pull point up, was that up. my SRS has actually dropped connection. Um, I thought it was still on because I could hear the uh, radio clicks, but apparently not. And a fucking mirage. Pull up! Pull up! Is he right there? Pull up! Pull up! Fuck, I can see him. Pull up! Pull up! He sees me. There's not enough mountains in the way for me to run away from this. He's gonna catch up to me for sure. So is that Mirage. Pull up! Pull up! I wish I had an afterburner of the F-15. Yeah, so you can definitely hear that I was panicking at this point, up, but uh, I was somewhat hopeful because I had finally reached the coast, so, uh, up, I mean, you never up. know, right? Cap, you have got to get your shit together up here. Pull up, pull up. I'm still oblivious to the fact that I'm not connected to SRS, but, you know. I see him burning. That guy's low. Not low enough. I think he went up high. Pull up, this is pull not up. mountainous enough for me. This guy's even closer. I'm so f yep, there it is. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. There's some sort of gunfight happening there. And things are not looking too good based on the RWR picture right here. Sure, my 329 nails plus a mirage. Pull up, pull the up. only thing I can do is get into these mountains. Pull up, pull Stick up. low and pretend I don't exist. Maybe they'll forget I even was pull here. Up, pull up. Woo! Underneath the fire line. Pull up! Pull up! Uh, yeah, he's, he's a smart one. I can't deny that. Fuck off. I'd say things went better than expected. Pull up, pull up. He 
He did the right thing, except he didn't do the right thing. He should have kept climbing. And... I would have been dead. Pull up, pull up. So, the lesson to take away from this, because I like to watch this back and kind of uh, figure out what I did right and what I did wrong, um, is that if you're stuck in a situation like that and they get that close to you, uh, if you just keep running straight ahead with them at your tail, they'll just fire up your butt and you're screwed. You don't have an afterburner, you're not going to outrun them. So when I made that turn down left, I saw the valley, I, I had the opportunity, I thought maybe I could lose them in the valley, but I also wanted to put them a beam. And uh, that allowed me to turn into the fighter once he did find me, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, you know what they say, be aggressive, be, be aggressive. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the flanker had the right idea. He went vertical, which is exactly what you're supposed to do against an A-10. If you can force the A-10 to do a 180, I mean, the A-10 is going to be out of energy. He really cannot pick up his nose all the way up. And I was struggling to put the nose up without stalling the aircraft. I was really riding the edge there on the A-10C's profile. So, you know, he did the right thing, except he just pulled back down. He got a little bit too greedy and just went head-to-head -head against an A-10 who, I mean, has aim nines like... Who would have thought that I would shoot, you know? <laughs> so, you know, for a flanker or any other fighter up against an A-10, the way to do this is to climb up, go high, 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 and the A-10 will not be able to put his nose up on you. You know, I went 45 degrees up, maybe. I would not have been able to put 90 degrees nose high. Uh, he would have won that fight otherwise. So I got, I just got lucky. Uh, I also had my uh, countermeasure system set to manual on the best flare program, uh, which helps a lot against all those heater shots that he fired at me. Um, so, you know, it's a bit of luck involved and a little bit of knowledge and know-how. But uh, definitely he could have avoided that death had he really played for energy instead of greed. Uh, but in other case, you know, that I managed to get out of that one alive. It's just one of those one in a hundred situations uh, and, you know, I personally didn't mind. <laughs> uh, in any case, the rest of the video is just me uh, doing an ILS approach and landing. So if you don't want to see that sort of thing, then uh, you can just stop right here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to stop the uh, commentary at this point, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want to stick around, then go ahead and watch the landing. See you guys. I love it when they don't have tack in. No I need to use ILS. Well, you know, I haven't done ILS in a while. Might not be such a bad idea. 111.1. One, one, one. And, uh, where's the stove? Switch comms, uh, ATC is 251. Sochi, traffic dagger 1 1 inbound for landing runway 6 inbound from the west. There it is. Going from a little bit further right so I can get that approach in better.
Sochi traffic, Dagger 1 1 is on a long final. ILS approach for runway 6. Really? Is this still too low? I mean, too high? Sochi Dagger 1 1, runway is clear. Flaps. I mean, we're high, but like these ILS approaches are always a little funky. drag you down to the middle of the runway for a perfect landing. It's kind of weird. Can I make this? Nope. Is there another? Yes, there is. Yeah. Social traffic, Dagger 1 1 is off the active. Well, folks, I cannot believe that I survived that. I am 140% surprised. <laughs> it's just one of those days. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you.